Dick and Doug were on their way to the tractor factory with a delivery. I've never been to a tractor factory before, said Dick. Oh well, I'll show you around then, said Doug. When they arrived, Eric's truck was in the way, and he wasn't around to move it. I wonder where he is, said Doug. Let's have a look inside. Knock, knock, said Doug. Anyone at home? shouted Dig. Hello? Hello? And just as they went inside, Hello? Mr. Packett, the manager, came to see who it was. Hello? He said. Funny. Must be hearing things. Hello? Hello? Said Dig and Doug, thinking they'd heard someone. Let's try through here. And as they went through the other door, Mr. Packett was sure that someone was outside calling. Hello, he said. And just as he was about to disappear again, Hello, hello, said Dig and Doug. I thought I heard voices, said Mr. Packett. Now what can I do for you? And Doug explained that they were looking for Eric because his crane truck was in the way. Hmm said Mr. Packett. If only I could work the crane myself. We could unload your truck then. Suddenly, Doug had an idea. So, silly old me, I can work a crane. Of course I can work a crane. Leave it to me, he said. And before Mr. Packett could... Are you sure you know what you're doing, Doug? Said Mr. Packard. That's what he's doing, all right, said Dave. I'll just pull this one and push that one, said Doug. We're quite safe with Doug. And before long, Doug had worked out what all the levers did and was unloading the truck. They don't look much like boxes, do they? That's because they're flat, Mr. Packet. Makes them easier to carry that way. So, how many is that, Dig? He said, as the last bundle was unloaded. Should be 22, Mr. Packet. Correct, said Mr. Packet. How many is that? asked Doug. 22, they both said. Brilliant. That's the same number that we set out with this morning. Mr. Packet pressed the button to open the delivery bay door. This is the packing and shipping room in here, said Mr. Packet. Would you like to see what our boxes are for? Dig and Doug both said they would, so he showed them. You lift the bundle, put it on the catch, press the button, and it goes through the hatch. Dig and Doug were very impressed, especially when a long line of boxes came out through another door. All packed up and ready to go, said Mr. Packet proudly. Like birthday presents, said Dig. Or Christmas presents, said Doug. Mr. Packet said he was off to find Eric, the truck driver. 
Would you like us to carry on loading, Mr. Packet? asked Dig. Oh, do you think you can? he asked. Piece of cake, eh, Dig? said Doug. Piece of cake, Doug, said Dig. Right, what did he say, Doug? said Dig. Lift the button and press the bundle. No, that's not right. Lift the bundle, press the button. Yes, that's it. Press the button. All right, if I press the button, Dig? No! Right. And instead of hooking up the boxes, Dig ah! hooked himself up. Doug, help me! He shouted as he disappeared through the little door. Don't worry, said Doug. I'm right behind you. I said I was going to show you round, didn't I? And before long, Dig was back again and managed to wriggle free. Ah! But poor old Doug was stuck now. Dig, help me! I'm stuck and I can't get off! Don't worry, shouted Dig. I'm right behind you! And as they both disappeared again, Mr. Packet came back. I can't find Eric anywhere. Dig? Doug? Oh, taking a break, I expect. So he decided to load the bundles himself. Hello, Mr. Packet, said Daisy. I saw Dig and Uncle Doug's truck outside. Are they here? Mr. Packet told her they'd be back soon, so Daisy said she'd like to help him pile the boxes. Oh, well, you'd better wear my hat then, he said. Right, said Daisy. Let's get packing, Mr. Packet. Something very strange happened. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Ooh. Oh, that's very strange, he said. These boxes are very heavy. <laughs> Daisy and Mr. Packet could hardly believe their eyes. Look out, Doug! Look out, Mr. Packet! Here he comes again. Mind my toe. Mind your backs, fellas. Eventually, when Daisy and Mr. Packet realized who it was, and everyone had decided it was time to go home, Daisy came up with a problem. What's wrong, said the others. Mr. Packet still hasn't found Eric, she said. And just as they were about to start looking, one last box came through the door. Evening all, said the parcel. Eric, where on earth have you been? Just hanging around the back, he said. 